the morning market kickoff with your host, Tommy O'Brien. Now, Tommy O'Brien. Good morning, everybody. I'm Tommy O'Brien, coming to you live from TFNN, 830 AM on Thursday. Big day of news. We're going to get it right as we speak, folks. We're going to get first reading of second quarter GDP. We're waiting for that number as we speak. We're also going to get weekly jobless claims. Right now, you're looking at a market in negative territory, but off of the lows we had overnight. The S&P is negative by 25 points right now. You see the chart I have up there trading at 32.27. No real volatility yet, as I mentioned, as we wait for those GDP numbers out at 8.30 a.m. Market looking for somewhere in the neighborhood of maybe a 34% pullback from the year prior. Uh, right now, S&P's, as I mentioned, down about 26 points. NQ futures down about 102. The Dow off 238. Finally seeing a little bit of volatility as these numbers come into view. S&P's ticking down marginally at 32.24. We were actually as low. This is a five-minute bar as we're looking at. 32.10, we were sitting at just at 7 a.m. So the market had clawed back some of the losses we had. Putting this again on a 15-minute to see the week of action. Last week, of course, 3284 the highs. Last night, quite a day in the markets as we charge higher right into the close. 6 p.m. Eastern time, the S&P is as high as 3257, and we just trail off for the entire night. You have the DAX down in a big way as well. Let's see where Germany is right now in terms of the EU. Yeah, DAX down 2.4% right now. FTSE down 1.6, CAC curl down 1.3. Over in Asia, the Nikkei down about 3 tenths percent. Shanghai down 3 tenths percent as well okay here we go perfect the numbers starting to come in so we'll start it off with weekly jobless claims that number pretty much right in line of what we had expected staggering numbers though folks when you think about it, we have settled we're settling right now at every single week initial jobless claims weekly jobless claims 1.434 million the uh, I think they need sound in the den there, Al. Do they have no sound? Maybe they can do that for the den. There we go. Okay. Uh, we've been on Target TV. Now we're in the den. Uh, weekly jobless claims, 1.434 million. 1.45 million was the expected on that number. And also waiting for, there we go. Okay, the GDP number, 32.9%. GDP plunging by the expected number was 34.7. Pretty close in line when you when you're talking about the GDP getting cut in half by possibly 35% and uh, they peg it at 33%, but it could have been worse. And nonetheless, though, the market's ticking down a bit. We've lost about four or five points. We'll zoom it in. There's the 830 bar as we drop about seven points now from 32.29 to 32.23. Jumping around to commodities, crude oil. $40.61, we made it to a low of $40.34. Gold contract off $10 right now. How about it, folks? We were within $1.60 yesterday, $1.60 we were from that uh, 2000 price point, but we don't get there. We don't get there. Talk about some volatility, right? Look at this two o'clock to four o'clock volatility yesterday. You go from 1969 to 1998, by 250, and then these are five minute bars, folks. Five minute bars. You trade from 1998, and by three o'clock, you're trading in 1969. You lose $30. Uh, gold holding up relatively well, just under these $2,000 price points at 1966. Notes and bonds right now getting a little bit of higher price and lower yield. We are breaking away from this area, folks. Check out this chart I got, right? You correlate to the recent highs we've had. And look at this, we're in, we're, we're in territory that we have not seen, except for the rapid spike we saw correlating to the market lows. Pretty remarkable, we got the 10 year approaching 140 right now, and you see the highs we've had recently, whether it was in April, whether it was back in May, whether you're talking about where we've been ticking across for the month of July, we are now above those levels, and to see where are we sitting at uh, on our bonds, what's our yield currently? Let's pull it up real quick, 0.55%. Yeah, with a higher number in that price, the yield 0.55% on that 10 year as we climb higher in price and uh, the markets pull back a bit. All right, what else we got going on? Big day across the board. We got earnings in a big way. We get Apple, 
Amazon, and Alphabet, all after the bell tonight. Those companies alone represent 13% almost of the S&P 500, S&P 500, 500 companies, and the three of them combined represent about 13% of the market cap. That is because the three of them combined are at about $4 trillion in market cap for just the three of them. Uh, interesting that the S&P is pretty much settled. I mean, you look at this, right? Look at this daily chart we're on. Talk about some context here, folks. We're down 27 points on the session, and we are sitting right near basically the highs we had. We're about 175 points off the all-time highs in the S&P at 33.97. All right. Yeah, as they're saying in the den, uh, it's it's remarkable where we sit. Man, Jimmy's saying so. Down 32% is better than expected. Cause for celebration? Question mark. That's the million dollar question, folks. Expectations are everything, but pretty remarkable that the GDP can shrink by 33%. The market barely moves about four or five points, and we're within about four to five percent of all time highs. Square that one in your head, folks. Good luck. <laughs> okay. Jumping around to some of the companies with earnings this morning, Comcast reports strong internet customer growth, 10 million signups for Peacock. I had mentioned, um, you know, a, a, I'm a strong bull in Disney in the long term in a big way. Uh, Peacock, that's a big number for NBC Universal. Uh, ad supported streaming service, Peacock, which has seen 10 million signups since its launch. Uh, big numbers there for NBC Universal, Comcast, checking out their chart this morning. CMCSA, I believe. What are we doing? Yeah. There's your volatility. So you go from 44 all the way up to 46.89, back to about 45.09. Conference call beginning right when we came on the air at 8:30 a.m. Excuse me. Uh, Yum Brands, Taco Bell. How about it? Yum Brands, same store sales fall 15 percent. A company says trends stabilizing in June and July. Uh, this market, it knows how things, how messed up things are right now. I would say what it cares about most is tell me what you're doing in the next three to six months, as is usually the case, right? But but more so important right now, as as saying, we know that things were very bad, but how are you seeing things as they come back? And let's see where we go. So digital sales, a big driver, the dramatic improvement in sales from the initial impact, reaching an all-time high of 3.5 billion in the quarter, an increase of more than a billion over the prior year. Same store sales trends for open stores stabilized in June, just a few points short of flat. So for the stores that were open in June, they lost barely a few points, and these trends have continued into July. Earnings, 82 cents versus 54. Revenue, just above at 1.2 billion versus 1.19. Let me get some of these notifications off. And Yum, we'll pull up their stock. There you go. It's a tough world, folks. Uh, you, you spike higher at 96.89. The conference call began at 8.15, but nonetheless, we're about two dollars lower in Yum at 94.83. Pretty slow morning in the in the markets right now. When you think that we just got weekly jobless claims at 1.4 million, that's just I think that's the 19th straight week of a million plus initial jobless claims. We got a GDP number for the second quarter down 30 plus percent. And nonetheless, the market shaking it off down 23 points. The VIX right now, 2564. Stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back in three minutes. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. The gold market has taken off topside in a large way in 2020. If you want to take advantage of this sector, now is the time to subscribe to my gold report. 
The Gold Report took profits in four of its equities in the gold portfolio in the first week of January for a combined profit of 99.2%, with two positions left in the portfolio that have a profit of 67.5% as of January 7th. The Gold Report is a comprehensive look at the metal sector as well as the markets that move gold, which is the currency and bond markets. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, I publish the Gold Report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up now by visiting TFNN.com. Don't miss out on the next great gold trade. Sign up today. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866 476 7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. S&P is negative by 26 points. The Nasdaq negative by 93. The Dow negative by 236. Again, pretty muted reaction on quite a news drop. The S&P is just chopping around between about 32.25 and 32.30. Again, lows overnight made it about 6, excuse me, 7 a.m. of 32.10 in the S&P. So we're just comfy right where we traded to at about 3.30 in the morning. Okay, jumping around to other stocks with action this morning. Duncan Brands, second quarter revenue falls 20% as customers make fewer visits due to the pandemic. Dunkin' Brands, Dunkin' Donuts, huge in the Northeast, of course, hometown Boston. Uh, yeah, you gotta be affected, right? When you think about the lines that build um, for those companies, people on the way to work, I wonder how that coordinates just itself. Myself, being at home a lot more often, uh, I'm making all my own coffee. I used to be at Starbucks, whether it's Starbucks, uh, Kawa Coffee, they get a lot of those. Dunkin', not as big down here in Florida, but yeah, I'm not, I'm not visiting those places at all, basically, if very few compared to normally. Uh, so Duncan down about 20% getting into the numbers there. For the second quarter, Duncan said net income fell to 36 million from 59 million a year ago. Revenue fell to 287 million from 359 million last year, but outpaced the estimate of 277. And what is it, what are they, D, what have said, Duncan, D-N-K-N, yeah, D-N-K-N. So there you go, we're gonna open, where are we? We closed at 71.68, we see some volatility, but right now you got a bid ask of uh, under 71. So a little bit lower on Duncan for some context on this stock. Almost a full recharge from 76 to 38. We're gonna open at about 71 on Duncan shares this morning. Okay, UPS, talk about doing well, delivering packages. We all got packages showing up at our doors. UPS shares soar. 11%, how about it, after reporting a surge in quarterly revenue on pandemic-led demand. So we'll jump over to their chart first, UPS. There's your pop from 124 up to 138. Conference call began just when we came on the air, I believe. That's right, 8.30 a.m. Eastern time. But you're talking about $13 higher, about 11%, as it said. And let's get into what they reported here. Okay. Net income rose 4.7% to $1.77 billion in the quarter ended June 30th, excluding items 213 a share, beat the estimate of $1.07. Revenue, I mean, it's just staggering. 13.4% growth to $20.4 billion in 90 days, this is, folks. And the estimate was only 13.48. 
they managed to find $3 billion in revenue additional over the estimates in 90 days. And I say find, right? They got it done. It's a tough time to be operating and kudos to them. And they're trading higher as a result, 11, 12%. Speaking of trading higher, Procter & Gamble trading higher as well. Consumers buy more cleaning products. Organic sales grew 6% during the quarter for P&G. And uh, North America and China, more consumers are buying its household cleaning products. Company expects sales growth of 1% to 3% for the fiscal year of 2021. Earnings per share a buck 16, revenue 17.7. The market was looking for just under 17. Procter and Gamble, the maker of many, many products that we all own. Uh, so we're pairing some of those gains up to 132. We're back to about 130.23. Conference call beginning at about 8:30 as well. For some context on this stock, to 94 during the initial rush to negative prices. I mean, there's some volatility, then it climbs back all the way to almost pre-COVID levels, and you still get some volatility all the way into late May down to about 111. But since June 29th, you're talking about a stock trading from 115, we're now gonna open above 130. And for some context on Procter & Gamble, that's gonna be an all-time high, folks. Quite the chart for Procter & Gamble. Things really take off. What is that, April of, uh, yes, April of 18. You're trading at 75, basically a straight shot to 125 before COVID hit. And we're now gonna open at the 130 level for Procter & Gamble. Let's check in on some of the stocks with earnings earlier this week. McDonald's uh, with their numbers, putting it in. So out with their numbers early Tuesday, and we're chopping right around that level for the last two days. This morning, though, we're going to open a bit lower at 194. We were at about 202 prior to their numbers. Uh, how about L Brands yesterday, right? Charging higher to the tune of about 30%. They're going to be trimming their workforce. They got a plan to get Victoria's Secret uh, together to stop burning so much cash, but 19 to 26.66. And speaking of runs, how about Kodak? in both directions up oh, we're back to almost 40 folks we're going to open almost seven dollars higher in kodak from third that's that's like 20 percent people didn't learn their lesson yesterday i mean even at, at and i and i joke because guess what there was a lot of money made and lost on these types of moves but this is going to get looked into folks because bottom line is there was still some huge volume going on you see the blocks right look at these blocks towards the end of the day here let's zoom it in we're dealing with 15 minute charts all right and how far back, where are we? Let's see how far back we can go. Let's go for a 10 day, 30 minute, all right? Look, look at these Look at these blocks last Monday, okay? For Now these are half hour bar, you know, we're gonna go to hour long bars. So we can say hour long bars, what's getting traded? So for the hour, you see the volume numbers we have, 3,000 for some hours getting traded, 11,000, 2,000. These are hours, okay? Tuesday, 6,000, 40, 20, the, you know, most hours, there's a few thousand shares getting traded of this equity. Fast forward to Monday, okay? This is prior to the news breaking, folks. 178,000 shares traded at 10 in the morning. Again, look at these totals for the day prior. Nothing over 20,000 for an hour. And you kick off Monday trading, with 178,000 shares in the 10 o'clock hour, 50,000, 231, 300,000, and 306,000. To end the day Monday, prior to that news being released, the numbers come out Tuesday. You don't gotta be a genius, folks, to say somebody knew something. The stock goes from $2 to 60. Greed, greed is quite an emotion, folks. And you're gonna see this come out. It better come out. It better be looked into, because, uh, there was a lot of action there as we all see it. But today, it's still rocking and rolling. We're at about $40 on Kodak shares. All right, folks, head on over to the front page of TFNN. Check out my new newsletter, Rocket Equities and Options Report. Uh, a weekly report coming out every Monday, kind of with a thorough report talking about what we've done for the week, what we're looking for for the week ahead, trades we have going on, along with pretty much daily updates going on as I kind of build a nice solid long-term core portfolio, whether it's five to maybe 10 equities as the market goes. Uh, and we turn those maybe longer term positions. And then we're gonna have short term trades, swing trades and option trades. Right now you can get in at 50% off the monthly price and you can lock it in for the life of your subscription. Head on over, just enter the promo code ROCKET 
subscribe to the monthly. Normally it's $97. You lock in 4850, R-O-C-K-E-T, hit that ad code, lock in 4850 off. That means you end up paying 4850 and that stays with you for the life of your subscription and you got a 30 day money back guarantee. Folks, check it out, please. I appreciate the uh, opportunity and if you don't like it, cancel it, request that money back guarantee. No harm, no foul and I appreciate the opportunity as I said. All right, let's jump back to what else we have going on. How about TikTok? How about $2 billion in the next three years as it takes on Instagram and YouTube? So TikTok, of course, uh, in the press in terms of owned by China's ByteDance, a lot of allegations in terms of privacy, China, but man, oh man, they got some dollars, $2 billion for creator funds as they look to take on those social giants. All right, stay tuned, folks. We'll be right back in three minutes. See what else we have on tap for Wednesday trading. Back in the day, I joined Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by Bam! as well as whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us. And Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powerful by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They have been called miracle molecules because, like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every, every morning. morning. Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Paige of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. We have the markets trailing off a bit. s and is now off 35 points at 32.17. These are 15-minute bars. We started the program right near 32.30. You see a little bit of escalation coming into the lower range, really 32.15. We held except for that one tail that we got at about 6.45 this morning, made it all the way down to 32.10. We'll see what the market does. NQ's down 126. The Dow off 302, and we get all the tech earnings this afternoon. Uh, as I mentioned, Amazon, Alphabet, 
and Apple. Also get Facebook. Those companies alone, $5 trillion in market cap as the NQs are trading at about 10548 All right, other companies out with earnings. Qualcomm, crushing it. Check out this pop. From about 93, we're up to 103. That's like a 10% pop. We'll pull up their numbers in a moment. PayPal trading higher as well from about 184. We're sitting at about 193 this morning. Qualcomm, earnings of 86 cents a share, 15 cents above estimates, exceeded forecasts for the revenue. Also gave an upbeat forecast for the prospects of sales of its chips for 5G devices. And it resolved a licensing dispute with China's Huawei to receive a $1.8 billion payment. Not bad, lots of good news there. PayPal beating as well, earning $1.07 a share for the latest quarter. Beat consensus estimates by 19 pennies. Payment service companies revenue also came in above forecast driven by a jump in e-commerce transactions as well as new accounts o'reilly automotive they earned 710 a share how about well above the 441 that the market was looking for there's some decent beats folks of what's going on look at this o'reilly chart from 455 to 490 for some context in that chart we're going to open well above pre-covid we were at 438 in january and yeah, we're talking about all time highs of about 480 this morning on O'Reilly Automotive. We were just sitting in 2017 at about 169. Uh, quite a pop there for O'Reilly. All right, folks, should be an interesting day in the market. We're digesting GDP number of a decrease of 30 plus percent, 1.4 plus million weekly initial jobless claims, and we get big tech earnings after the close today. And who do we got? We got our man Larry Pezzavento coming up live next. Live programming all day at TFNN, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be right back. Larry Pezzavento watches the markets 24-7, and now is a great time to try out his daily trading service, Fibonacci 24-7. Larry publishes videos and charts for subscribers throughout the week when warranted, and every weekend he puts out a thorough report covering worldwide markets, futures, commodities, and currencies with Fibonacci retracement levels, possible trading setups and zones, and stops and targets for all recommendations included. Larry applies the principles he's developed over decades of trading while analyzing a variety of markets for subscribers. To see for yourself the types of videos, charts, and analysis that Larry provides for his subscribers, sign up for Fibonacci 24-7 today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. You'll also gain instant access to Larry's archived subscriber webinar from earlier this year. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. David White's newsletter.